session, we have another excellent keynote speaker to talk on the topic assessment and monitoring of learning challenges in online modality. Allow me to, to introduce him first. Our speaker is an associate professor three, currently the director for finance and administration of PNU South Luzon and serve as concurrent head for knowledge and management office. He holds a master of arts in education, specializing in language and literacy education at the University of the Philippines and a Bachelor of Secondary Education degree, major in English at the Philippine Normal University, South Luzon. Aside from obtaining doctoral units in the Doctor of Communication program at the University of the Philippines, Open University, he currently works on his dissertation for PhD in Knowledge and Innovation Management at the Institute for Knowledge and Innovation, Southeast Asia, Bangkok University, Thailand. He has been a research paper presenter, author, module writer, training organizer, facilitator, and project coordinator of international and local ICT-based projects in the basic and tertiary education levels, whose innovative ideas, projects, researches, specifically short film project on UNESCO Better Learning, Better Life, he dubbed as Learning Out of the Board and Beyond, are recognized at the local and international levels. His current areas or fields of interest for research and explorations are not limited to organizational communication, knowledge management, mobile, le mobile learning, social media in education, cross-cultural cyber classroom, collaborative projects, and educational networking, training, and extension activities. Let's all welcome and listen to Professor Reynold M. Cacho. Uh, first thing first, good afternoon to everyone. I'd like to see my uh, my colleagues, you are all my colleagues, uh, dito sa Sakmungan 2020. Uh, I'd like to see a thumbs up if you are there, listening. Uh, at least magparamdam po kayo. Ayan, thank you. All right, I can, I can see the thumbs up. Uh, actually, the Zoom itself is a, a learning platform where we become a teacher, we become a student, we create a classroom, we create a learning space. Okay, uh, but before I go on uh, with my presentation, uh, I'll, make, I'll make my presentation uh, not that long because I'd like to engage more in, uh, in a dialogue later on in, a, in our question and answer and uh, breakout rooms session. Uh, let me share my screen first. Uh, will you allow me, the host, Okay, thank you. As a preliminary activity uh, of this of this afternoon session, I will request, uh, I will can kindly uh, request or uh, have your indulgence to please uh, volunteer to respond to this survey. My talk this afternoon is about assessment and I'll be showing to you or presenting to you later on the result of, uh, equi uh, of a counterpart or equivalent study and this time responded by the students. So it would, uh, it would create a little parang, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, bias approach or uh, 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 your decision making might your, your, your responses might be influenced by if you will be seeing later on by the result of the students respond. So before you see the students respond on this survey, it is of our proper that you respond first to this survey. If you will go to the group chat, the link is already provided. And currently, uh, I on, uh, uh, based on the Google form updates, I only have 26 respondents. So siguro, uh, Please uh, respond kahit lang po makarating tayo ng 40 or 45 or 30 uh, just to at least half of the participants, just to make sure that half of the participants respond to the survey. Uh, it's very easy to do. 
I'll give you maybe five minutes or less than to respond to the survey. Pwede po ba yun? This fine time, the time starts now. Five minutes. Josh, may background music ba tayo habang nagsasagot sila ng survey? Sige, sige. If you have questions, this is a survey. I feel free to uh, comment in the chat, chat box. Okay. I'll be back five minutes. Ding dong, call me on my phone, nice tea and I'll get my ping pong huh. This is dead, heavy, can't hit the bass, no, I'm ready With this honey, yeah, this beach ain't like money I wonder how, I wonder why Yesterday you told me 
about the blue, blue sky And all that I can see Is just a yellow lemon tree I'm turning my head up and down I'm turning, 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 turning around And all that I can see Is just another lemon tree I'm sitting here, I miss the power I'd like to go out, taking a shower But there's a heavy cloud inside my head I feel so tired, put myself into bed Well, nothing ever happens And I wonder Isolation is not good for me Isolation I don't want to sit on the lemon tree I'm stepping around in the desert of joy Maybe anyhow I'll get another toy And everything will happen And you wonder I wonder how, I wonder why Yesterday you told me about the blue, blue sky And all that I can see Is just another lemon tree Turning my head up and down Turning, 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 turning around And all that I can see is just a yellow lemon tree And I wonder, wonder, I wonder how, I wonder why So, uh, thank you very much there you go. Uh, as of the moment, uh, real time, we have, we have reached 40 participants responding to the survey. Uh, thank you very much. You can still go on uh, responding to the survey while you're listening. Or, uh, but before I present the, the students' preference, you should be done by that time. Because later, you, you'll get to see how students prepare to be assessed or evaluated. Okay? So, uh, thank you very much, Mom, Professor Carmela for the kind introduction. Uh, my talk this afternoon is about assessment and monitoring of learning challenges in the online modality. It's a privilege to be speaking, facilitating learning, and sharing some experiences or uh, knowledge uh, I have about the topic. Okay, so I also appreciate seeing uh, fellow colleagues here, uh, people I have been I, I, I have been with uh, attending seminars uh, and uh, fellow graduates of TNU, South Luzon, and uh, uh, the rest of the academics in Quezon. Uh, it's really an honor. All right, so let me start. Uh, th there was an introduction earlier uh, uh, about a bit academic introduction, but this afternoon I'd like to s present to you the other side of me. Okay, uh, I know you're seeing my screen. Uh, if, if in any chance, or by any chance, I want to be reintroduced, I'd like to be introduced this way. In fantasy, here's how I would like to be introduced. Uh, sabi nila ako si Einstein. Uh, but that's not true. Fantasy lang naman, di ba? Uh, mas kilala ko na si Naruto sa panaginip ko. Uh, uh, I'm a fan of Naruto. Uh, Nakikigeneration ako. Mahilig ako sa cartoons. I, I know the cab... Ka, 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 I, I know one technique. I, I just forget the name. And uh, sa totoong buhay, ako talaga si Magulo eh. Ako talaga si Rambo. Uh, every challenges, after every uh, work, uh, other life, uh, I emerge as uh, victorious. Uh, anyway, the fight goes on. We are all frontliners and we are here to learn from everyone and share also our experiences. So much of the topic or content of I'll be sharing this afternoon is called or taken from the, the, the the material uh, from Docent et al. Okay, uh, in a in a nutshell, uh, before the uh, at the onset of the pandemic, we have to challenge. Uh, we have to respond to the challenge, and basically, uh, our first our priority is not actually education. Our priority is to survive. Okay, set magiging secondary na lang yung education. How we learn now? Once we have secured, once we know how to fight this pandemic, how to live with it later on. Uh, and, and we are actually doing it at the moment. Uh, we have to go through 
uh, we have to get back to our uh, classroom, to our offices, to our uh, working spaces. And we, we have to work together as partners, private, public, gov uh, non-government, uh, and other entities as part of as a bigger social system or ecosystem. We have to work together to respond to this uh, challenge. Uh, the context of distance learning is actually right in front of us. What I mean by that is that what you see on screen is uh, the Zoom classroom. Currently, this is the bus word, uh, a little uh, at first exciting, but later on, once you have an hour, more hours with that, it becomes a Zoom, a Zoom, a Zoom, uh, a Zoom land. Uh, uh, yeah, and we become Zoom zombies, uh, as just just to just to call it. Uh, as you can see, the challenge is the resources. Uh, we, we, right here, you will see that most of us is using actually a bigger screen, which means that we're using laptop. Others are using a smaller screen. You can see in smaller screen, they're using smartphone. And uh, the connectivity varies. We don't have the same connectivity in Lopez Quezon. Uh, we have fiber here. Uh, we, we have, of course, the telcos are here. The new players are coming, uh, the digital community, but it's not yet uh, mobilized. Uh, we have different kind of way to connect and the basic uh, way to connect uh, if, if, uh, through a smartphone is the data. Okay, now on the other side is, our, uh, is the student. This is a typical classroom that we have in the student, a Zoom classroom, a Zoom working or learning space. Uh, as you can see here, uh, what I have or in the other student, the third one is a laptop. The rest are the poor pala. The poor persons are using laptop. The rest, they're using smartphones. Uh, at the context, students in the, in the PNU context, we did our research and we find that uh, nine out of 10 students in PNU have access to mobile data and they have smartphone devices. But not, of course, everyone has a smartphone. So in PNU, we're trying to do, address this with our project Tanglao. Uh, and we're trying to um, improve our Tangla with more projects, more donation, more way of doling out, giving or lending devices to students, also providing them data allowances because our direction is actually to go online, less of the paperwork, but online to really uh, respond efficiently and uh, to, to work collaboratively and to, more, to, to be more uh, engaged in communicating our students because if we do that on paper uh, we uh, paper would do more contact but online would be more contactless okay so if we combine together we can see the the two the faculty and the students having different resources different challenges the issues on connectivity resources and you see the problem and of course not just the problem but the opportunity okay uh, of different resources before COVID, we have this typical classroom model with the use of ICT. This is just one. There are so many models with the use of ICT. I had this in my master's. I worked on the TPAC model, Michelin Caller. And we, uh, we can see here combining the dimensions of pedagogy, content, and the 21st century. But when uh, the COVID came, came it, it all changes the, the landscape. It all, change, it all changes the the, 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 the scenario, the, the, it, it created a, a, a whole lot of issues and challenges that we need to address. Uh, but before we do that, let, let's have a little uh, engagement here. I, I don't want to be just talking here. Let's, use, let's maximize the use of Zoom, uh, especially its chat box features. I want, uh, may I request everyone to, in your opinion, in your idea, what's, what's your thought about assessment? A word or a phrase will do. Okay. Can we can we do that? It's it's part of a little feedback mechanism. I'd like to I would like to know whether you're still interested to listen to this uh, talk or you'd like to share your ideas. Uh, any there's no wrong or right answer. Again, I'll be chatting here in our chat box for you. What is assessment? Two word or yeah, thank you, Clyde. A shout out to Miss Clyde L for Solis for answering. Also, a shout out then to Parang game lang ano? Giselle, we have Isabel, 
uh, Dr. Nova, uh, thank you for the uh, the thoughts about measurement evaluation. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I agree with that. It's part of assessment, uh, testing, evaluation. Uh, thank you, Sir Noli, for assisting. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. My my message was done. Still rating. Yeah, yeah. We have we, we see a lot of rating when we look at assessment. Yes. Thank you, Janeline, Wena, Rosho, Maria. Hana Mapula, thank you. Rigorous, yeah, it has to be rigorous, robust. It has to be systematic. Uh, if you can see earlier, uh, you were just part of an assessment. You, 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 you answered the survey uh, that will be part of data gathering in order for us to make better decision making in, in an area, in a particular area like assessment. Uh, we'd like to understand how academics uh, uh, make choices or how they, uh, what's their preference in, in, in assessing or evaluating testing our, our students. Measurement, we talk about validity and reliability. Yes, uh, we have this in our undergrad and even in our grad studies. Integral, yep. Thank you, ma'am. Vanessa. Do you see a lot more coming? Okay, last one minute. Judgment. Uh, if I'm going to copy all the ta all, all the things that you have uh, put there all together. Uh, ang, ang prevailing theme natin will be about evaluation, about judgment. Okay, it is interesting to the philosophy of assessment. Some are formative, yes, formative and summative. Uh, also, putting the right balance uh, on formative assessment. Uh, or in summative assessment is also should, should, is also critical when we do assessment. Ongoing process, definitely. Uh, in in the in the talk earlier in the sharing of experiences uh, we had in the making of module, uh, one uh, one shared about their, we about that their assessment or their modules are still work in progress. Yes, actually this time of the year academic year all that all that we are putting together testing piloting are all work in progress we will try to see what will work what will not work uh, uh, experimenting good that uh in Berga has, has has their quality assurance mechanism uh the committee uh making sure that their modules are are valid are are, are um, has the validity are are, are checked before it's uh, shared to the students. So that's that's a good uh, check and balance, okay? But I think there's no one size fits all. Wala namang kung nag work ito in one institution, it could also work in another institution. We have to look in our context. Motivate students. Authentic, current, sufficient, reliable. Taking consideration. Parang, parang ayun ko na mag because you're all answering the, the things, the key point of my talk this afternoon. Okay, I'll be, thank you so much for the input. Ayan. I'm pretty sure kung hindi ko binabasa or uh, I'm, I'm recognizing some of the names, uh, you, might be, you might have a little motivation to respond. Also earlier, I motivated you uh, to the point of forcing you to answer a survey uh, that's against ethical policy. Kung ayaw nyo naman talaga sagutan, okay lang po because you have the, uh, the right to do so. And if you don't want to respond, okay lang din po. If you're responding, better naman po because you're becoming part of the dialogue, the discussion in creating values okay so thank you very much for those who have uh shared their ideas in our uh, zoom uh, i know you are, you also do this when you do micro lecture you from time to time you, uh, you get feedback from your students and this is actually part of a formative assessment while you are there there they're delivering your lesson you have these questions you have this strategy that you'd like to see you'd like to get how we like to see how your students or participants are responding uh, or uh, to the to the activity that you're giving. Okay, so thank you. Okay, uh, to in a nutshell, I think it's uh, it's proper to uh, define assessment yeah, as an integral part of an instruction mentioned earlier. Uh, we use assessment for grading, for placing, placement, to advance instructional needs, upgrade our curriculum. And some cases funding, yep. uh, we, uh, that, that's, that's true. Also, the key questions 
about assessment are the following. Are we teaching what we think we are teaching? Kumuha ka ng module. Nasa module mo ba yung kailangan matutunan, kailangan mabasa, kailangan mapanood, kailangan ma mga tanong, mga activity na magagawa ng bata. Are students learning what they are supposed to be learning? Of course, there are other things that they learn along the way, but the main uh, objective is uh, the main learning. Is it achieved with those kind of activities, with that kind of activities, or is there a better, is there a way to teach the subject better, thereby promoting better learning? I'll go about, I'll go later about better learning later. So that's the key. When we try to make a module and we consider assessment in our module, we have to answer these three basic questions. Are we teaching what we are teaching? Is the module providing what the module should be providing? Uh, are the synchronous or the asynchronous activity? Uh, the content, are we supposed to learn that? Is there a other way around where we can transfer, deliver, facilitate the content? or the performances that they have to do better. And, and the assessment will, uh, will provide us the answer. They are responsive, unresponsive, they are not attending, they are doing, if they find challenges, you get that immediate feedback, okay? Also, uh, mentioned earlier is formative and summative assessment. Uh, there's, uh, others are still confused in this. Uh, how do we differentiate formative and summative? The key is time. And actually, uh, we can do some of the uh, summative activities. Our activities, it be considered summative. Activities can be, can be considered formative. But in an analogy, uh, when the cook tastes the soup while cooking, uh, whether he has to add a certain ingredient or, or add more or, uh, or less than one thing, he's, he's doing a formative assessment. Now, when the customer or is trying to judge what the cook yeah, cook, what the cook cooked. Now he's making a summative assessment. Now, now the summative assessment is, is the, the grade that we give to the final project, the grade that we give at the end, or the end, the grade that we give at the end of the specific uh, activities that, that, uh, that, uh, well, that were taken for a specific period of time. And of course, we don't go with the summative without doing the formative. We start with the formation, then later the summation. Okay? So, uh, in, uh, in, in, in designing assessment, we have to consider its authenticity. We have to identify the standard, yung not nasa silos natin, silos. We, ha we have to know the task to do, the real scenarios. Uh, we have to identify the evidences, the performance tasks, the rubrics needed, and the benchmark, the check-ins, including a way to share. Because the best works of our students should not just end in a teacher drive it should be seen it should be shared it should be uh comment to reviewed to also by the students because pag yung mga best works ng mga estudyante natin nandun lang sa drive natin hindi nakikita hindi na exhibit in our public space sa ating learning management system uh nawawala yung purpose ng assessment it stay lang dun sa silos um the book also provides some of the authentic assessment uh we we, we can uh uh, we can provide for our students, for instance, uh, in, in online environment, we, we, we do the, the paper works like the research, collaborative, learning labs. They can use Word, they can use Google Docs, PowerPoint. Uh, yung Google Docs natin, my chat feature, we can do it spreadsheet and a lot more. If it's portfolios, you can do Google Sites, Webly, WordPress, uh, for digital posters. You can use Canva, Photoshop, or ebook, you have those time kind and for media multimedia and digital production our students could can use uh, video or filmmaking apps like iMovie Adobe Spark and a lot more okay and also if there's a 3D modeling then there's a Tinkercad app creation Xcode also if we look into the process of giving uh, feedback we can use Skype we can use Hangout Microsoft Teams FaceTime for collaboration we have Google Suite Google Docs uh, for consulting, connecting, we have those kind of applications that we can do in a distance mode, especially online. Now, uh, what are the principles that we should consider in making formative assessment? 
again, it has to be have, it should develop the skills and master the concept. It should engage and enable students to, to individually connect what they are learning, what they already know, engage and enable students to collaboratively construct, not just alone, right? not just individually, collaboratively construct knowledge within an, a learning environment, which is online or in any platform that you're using. Also, uh, formative, the formative assessment should provide proper feedback. Feedback should be transparent, actionable, user-friendly, timely, ongoing, and consistent. Uh, how can we do that on paper, on module? Of course, the module becomes one way. But if, if, if we put it in an, if we put the module, the printed one, in a, in a learning management system where there can be interaction, there could be two ways. A teacher can give immediate, immediate feedbacks, printed modules, you need to see, you need to ask these students to take a picture of it and send it to you. Parang masyado nagiging complicated. Pag nakakasend siya ng material, ibig sabihin, meron siyang way to connect. Okay? Also, let's, uh, let's use the rubrics, the checklist, and at the end of the day, students should be able to reflect and monitor their own learning. So these are some. Uh, speaking of the formative assessment, uh, some, these are just some suggestions. We have online pieces, we have Quizlet, Google Forms. Uh, you, can, you can convert the Google Forms, not just a survey, but as a piece. There's a Kahoot, mentioned already, na narinig ko na to, and a lot more uh, in learning, your learning management system. Also, Facebook actually has the quiz, uh, the, the quiz or the exercise where, where you can run uh, five to 10 items with multiple choice and students can take the quiz in a Facebook group. We have the guided learning videos, recorded explanations. Uh, you have there the apps. So don't you worry, uh, we will be uh, formatting our presentation as, as our Dean Rod uh, made mention in the chat. We will be providing you a copy of the, the presentation. Okay, these are just some. Uh, Min Timitary or poll everywhere, Sorby Monkey are also options for a feedback poll aside from the chat feature of the Zoom. And of course, you can share the, the rubrics or ch checklist via Google Docs or other collaborative uh, doc platform, documentation platform. Now, the key here is that when we do formative assessment or assessment itself, we are not, you are not grading assignments. You are collecting evidence to determine student progress and point them and pointing them toward their next steps taken from Tyler Bobbin and education. So okay, how do we do this at the university context of all that this this con this theories? Now uh, a model here provides an assessment in distance education. We have to consider how we monitor progress. We have to make sure that students enjoy uh, taking a uh, formal quiz, we can embed uh, a quiz that immediately provides feedbacks. We have to meet them synchronously. Uh, synchronous does not happen only in a Zoom like this. A synchronous session can be in a form of chat. Mag chat kayo sa messenger, say, uh, class, let's have a chat in a, in a group chat. Uh, at this time, I want everybody to be online, although you have problem with connectivity, chat muna tayo. Let's have a Q&A, group, group discussion. And, and let's have, you ask questions, if others could answer, uh, your classmates could respond, if I, the teacher could also respond later on and encourage uh, uh, interaction by making some heart. Pwede mong lagyan ng meaning, yung heart. Pwede yung thumbs up, etc., etc. Portfolios is one, the Google, uh, he, Google Suite is here, and of course, reviewing student online work. And of course, we need to exhibit the works of our students. Uh, they have to exhibit their works uh, for them to demonstrate uh, what uh, uh, for you to critique, review, and of course to share uh, the, the best works of our students. Now, what do we do in PNU? Uh, our uh, Vice President for Academics, Dr. Uh, Jenny Hoxon, uh, presented uh, through the, the Office of the Vice President uh, a model, a paradigm where, 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 where we uh, that we are currently uh, adapting uh, and operationalizing in the context of our courses or within the campus. In PNU, what we do is that we, we shifted, we migrated, of course, the printed or the classroom works activities into, the, into, into an online platforms. Other campuses did the printing, but uh, most of the works in PNU is 
in paying stock is on this online. Okay, we have the ICT help desk. We we have uh, we we train faculty how to use Google's uh, Google Classrooms, and of course, I promoted the use of Facebook group uh, with a platform uh, in, a, in a special uh, training. Or actually, we developed even a crash course later, which I will show to you uh, how we promote the use of Facebook group in the classroom. Okay, in the term one, we redesign our pedagogical directions. Uh, the core course offering, we make sure that we are offering uh, the generic courses that, that require less laboratory works because much of this time, students will just stay at the comfort of their homes. They are not allowed to go to the laboratories and they, they don't have access to the actual equipments, but they can, they can just only see or view materials online. Also, we have to calibrate, we had cali calibrating of our course tracking and we also cluster teaching. Um, this is done when uh, courses uh, assignment, uh, courses uh, final output, courses uh, products or uh, required submissions are integrated. For instance, in my part, uh, I, am, uh, I, 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 I asked for the syllabus of the, of the understanding by design, of the understanding the self rather. I'm teaching purposive communication. So I asked my students, whatever your requirement in understanding the self, that will become part of the purpose of communication. If you're finding a piece for a presentation you like to talk or discuss orally, individually, or as a group, use the course content of understanding the self. So it's that, in that way, they streamline the bubble was in your activities among the The purpose of comm is more of the process course, and what it lacks is the content. The content should come, should come from other courses that is being offered by the campus. Okay? And again, this, uh, this goes on with our framework. Uh, the to be uh, the outcome based holistic standard based and at this point we are still uh, the period of trying out experimenting what will work and I hope they, we hope it will work at this uh, at this time we are in uh, phase one and phase two. we're done with phase one we are now in phase two uh, and the phase three is uh, we have uh, we are actually in phase three. Uh, the phase one, we have shifted. The phase two, we have refocused, recalibrated, uh, make it flexible, find them. Uh, the, the university did not stick in, one, in just one platform. Manila has the Moodle, or the mod, mod, Modular Object Dynamic Learning Environment. They're using it as a platform for their LMS. Uh, I teach in a grad school, and uh, I, I, ask, I, I interact with my students mostly through Moodle. Okay? But in the campus, uh, there's no um, platform yet. So uh, the, uh, we, we were using Google, Class, Google Classroom, Facebook, and other uh, platform students and teachers have access. That's the key word, access and equity. equity. Kahit pa napakaganda ng LMS nyo, kung ang data connection naman ng sudyante ay hindi aari, hindi pwede ang connection na yan. Nahira pa tayo. That's not possible. That's not plausible. And at the moment, we're trying, uh, we're implementing the modalities and providing support and still looking ways to improve what we're doing. At the moment, or recently, we had this uh, extension program in PNU. Uh, we promoted the use of Facebook group. Uh, you can con actually convert the Facebook group into a class, into an online classroom. Uh, I'm pretty sure the eyebrows of others will go, oh, wow, what I'm talking about Facebook. It's a social media, not an issue of privacy, it's issue about bullying, it's issue about the handling data, issue about disruptions. Uh, students are already distracted by FB. My point here is that why don't we turn the distraction into attraction and make the attraction, which is currently the best possible way where students can access, be the platform for learning and teaching. So a good thing Facebook created the units. Meron siyang units na kung saan you can put your module, your topic, your task activity. For instance, this, this uh, if you go through, if you check the LOBB platform or the Facebook group, you will see the units. Meron tayong introducing what is the LOBB, uh, introducing who is in the group, uh, what you know about the group. So starting point muna tayo, ano ba yung alam nyo? Then later on, when you go to unit four, you will see the video resources in creating a Facebook group classroom. 
uh, there I presented, I think, time, uh, I created ten, uh, eight videos about from creating the group, creating the units, converting the units into uh, subunits, creating the, the po making a post, sharing videos, making quiz through Facebook group. Uh, so, hindi lang si Google Form uh, may, may, may quiz online, pwede rin sa Facebook group, you can create a quiz. And also, there's a monitoring of student progress, whether students have actually viewed, have actually completed the task or a module because they have to click that. There's also a group insights where you can monitor students. Of course, may mga challenges. There are caveats. Uh, we, have to know, we have to make sure that students who are part of the group are the students supposed to be enrolled in the group. We have to make sure that students are the one doing it. We have to make sure uh, they, are, they are using the, the, the data, the information in this group in for the purpose of this classroom only. Again, the use and access of the data here in the Facebook group is also critical. Student, we have an uh, unwritten policy about this during the orientation, how you're going to use the Facebook group. And there's an open forum. If you have uh, issues or concerns on the use of the Facebook group, and there's a uh, research already undertaken or uh, under uh, being taken or um, published about the use of Facebook as an online classroom. And when you go, when you actually, this is a self-paced crash course. Uh, you can go through the units, and when you complete the units, you will earn a certificate. Uh, uh, the, uh, you have to evaluate first the unit, the courses that you will be that the units or the learning management system here, and when you complete you will be one of the Hall of Famers, the, CRAS, the official CRAS course computers, and you will, have, uh, you will get a certificate from PNU South Luzon. And uh, we are going to scale this also. Uh, the next project will be teaching our, uh, our in-service teachers about the use of Facebook group and other apps in improving their, uh, enhancing their online teaching experiences. So that's it. So my Facebook classroom experience. So how uh, it's actually tricky to share to you a live Facebook uh, right on my screen. Uh, this is a bit tricky, and I am a bit vulnerable. You should not be doing what I'll be doing later on. I'll be sharing live a Facebook uh, tabs, uh, which I'll try to uh, present to you some of the works of my students or some what I do with my Facebook group. Uh, especially when you're done with your uh, taking the course, uh, if you'd like to try out how this is done. If you have a question, please feel free to uh, make the questions in your chat box, okay? I'll be sharing again the screen. This time, I'll be sh sharing uh, my tabs. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, for security purposes, uh, for privacy, I, on I will only share uh, only a portion of a Facebook, okay? Again, this is live. I'm a little careful. Okay, so uh, this is, my, I am teaching building and enhancing new literacies uh, for the first term. And what you can see here, I, I immediately, I run into the units. The content of the units, of course, are the, the pre-course activities. Anong makikita natin dyan? Sa pre-course uh, pre activities, makikita nyo dyan yung uh, introduction of the students. Uh, uh, I explained how to navigate the Facebook group. I, there's also a part here where they have to introduce themselves, where they are good at and not good at. Hindi lang basta, basta ka magpapakilala na ako si ano, hindi. You have to tell us, share to us where you're good and where you're not good at. And again, uh, actually this is a combination of two groups. Okay, I'm teaching two groups and I'm only using one Facebook group. The good thing is that I'm only handing the same course to them. Okay, uh, what else do you see in the group? Uh, here, I also posted a unit for the course resources. When you click the course resources, uh, students will be directed to the drive where I put all the, 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 the materials. What are the materials? The videos related to new literacies, the books that I found and I'm sharing to them uh, are for the purpose of education purposes only, not for commercial use. The articles, the required papers that they have to read and the syllabus is here. And I'll be guiding them the activities in a, in a group and providing them the right assessment and the feedback. What else do you, you will see in our group? Uh, you will also see the units in the recorded session. Every week, there is a session, 30 to 40 minutes uh, micro session. What I do is that I, I try to give feedbacks and I, rec I record the feedbacks of what they do online. Uh, what are those? 
For instance, uh, so far, this has been our recording. So we started at October 1, uh, 30 to 40 minutes lang yan. Makikita nyo dyan yung discussion ko in providing, uh, so seeing how, how, what they are doing on the Facebook group and reading their comments, immediately giving them feedback. Okay? So may kumustahan din kung anong nangyayari. And uh, of course, the challenge are the participation. And attendance is not an issue here because if they cannot present, if, if they're not present, they can view the videos later on when they are free. So, yun. Also, as part of the Facebook group, you, we have here the, the main content. Say the, the, the first part of the syllabus is about intellectual literacy. Uh, I'll be presenting a video that I called or got adapted somewhere, and there they, I'll provide, after, after viewing the, the video, I will provide the big question. What's the big question, the task? For instance, in this uh, subtopic about uh, what's that? these are actually the students' responses. I asked them to comment in, uh, in the topic about giving credits to sources, academic honesty lesson three. I asked them to provide an in-text example in the best way possible, comment it here. So after viewing this five minute video, they will have to comment their own example on how they paraphrase, they have co they, they quoted materials and summarized, and they have to write the proper in-text formatting and the bibliographical entry. Immediately, I provide immediate feedbacks by liking, by commenting, by making a uh, comment, etc., etc. So this is just one way of uh, creating uh, content, uh, presenting, sharing to you some of the content in our Facebook group. Now, let me get back to to the to the screen that I'm sharing. So far, any question? May tanong ba sa chat box? So I I I only give you a snippet or a, 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 a little experience of my uh, my online uh, experience being the uh, being an online learning facilitator using the Facebook group. So far, do we have question? Sorry, we question lang ako para listen. Uh, first one is uh, yes, uh, assessment is very important in learning, but I am worried about its unintended consequence which is competition that arises uh, from the learners and stakeholders. Uh, lalo sa basic ed, pati parents. <laughs> Medyo kasama yan sa, dun sa competition. Uh, how can we reduce competition and make learning a collaborative endeavor? Actually, in my Facebook group, uh, I, I, you have to first create a policy. If it be unwritten, you can just discuss about it. Uh, the goal here, here is to create a community. A community of learners, community of practice, uh, of practice, or community of inquirers. Uh, the goal here is more of active participation. Uh, you encourage active participation. For example, uh, since this is online, what you can actually assess are the are the one that they are writing in the comment section. The one they are presenting, if you need to, if they have to present a PowerPoint or a video of them presenting something, or of course a paper that there's, they are, they, they have to submit. Okay, uh, the the goal I think is, uh, you we we should put more value on the formative assessment. When we say formative assessment, it's actually mostly non-graded. Okay, uh, low stake siya. Pag high stake which is the summative na talagang the goal is to get the 100. Yung sa Google Classroom mo, may rating siya, nagpapataasan, maging 90. Or doon naman sa DepEd, ibang, ibang usapan ng DepEd because most of the time, parents are the one doing it. Actually, uh, kung hindi talaga kaya ng estudyante, huwag sagutan ng estudyante. Let it be known by the teacher that the student were unable to answer the, the module because the, the module itself, does not provide the enabling uh, questions, the enabling environment for the student to process the information and learn from it. Especially that there's no teacher, the, the student is the, is the one that's reading, interacting. You know, so, dun pala nagkakaroon na tayo ng marginalizations, yung mga my hubs, my tutor, maganda sila. Pag wala kang pang tutor, paano na? Walang, so, walang time si parent mag, magturo ang parent hindi pa nakagraduate ng, ng, ng high school para maintindihan yung tinuturo. Mas magaling pa siyempre yung estudyante. For college, uh, the context of the college level, 
uh, the goal here is to increase communication. Increase communication in a form of feedbacks. Uh, later on, I'll present a result of the preference where you will be seeing that student does not, do not actually prefer to see scores that could create an envy, jealousy, or competition. What they want is more than the score, tell. And I'll explain that later on, uh, Dean Rod. Next slide na siya. Uh, I hope I answer a little or did not talk totally your answer, your question. I'm trying to revisit and to remember yung aking uh, private uh, institution experience in HEI. Kasi na, ang dami kasing assessment, particularly in private school. The reason behind of this assessment is because, for example, prelim, midterm, finals, kasi dun lang bababayad ng tuition. <laughs> Parang kailangan maningil. Oh, that's a so, mechanism. <laughs> yeah. uh, yun ang summative, uh, pag summative na kailangan magbayad ka lang. Yeah, uh, nangyayari yung prelim, instead na nagiging formative, nagiging summative siya. Uh, yeah. Midterm, nagig instead na dapat formative siya kasi middle of the term. Na ngayon, uh, I don't know, kasi di pag pag dito sa, sa atin, sa PNU, it's very clear. It's very clear to us. Ano? In fact, we don't have, meron lang tayong standards kung paano yung rating, but the, graded, the grading system, you, we have the full autonomy. Ngayon, siguro yung experience na tinitingnan dito kasi I don't know I don't know in private school kasi meron silang mga institutions na for example, ang prelim ay kailangan 20%. Ang ano so ngayon, I don't know on the experience of our participants on how they are negotiating. Siguro I yung I, I could yes, I did, uh, later on we could discuss that and we can discover that in the in the break uh, so sa mga Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, th that's a good point. Uh, we, we will raise that questions later on. Okay, let me continue. Uh, it's, uh, I hope everybody has already responded to the survey because right this mo up, uh, right now, I'll be presenting to you the students' preference. Kanina, academic. Ano ba yung gusto natin? Ano yung style natin? Ano yung preference? Preferred activity natin to assess our students. Uh, pero beforehand, I actually ran a mini review. We ran a review, uh, a survey starting yesterday afternoon. We asked our students some questions about their preference, their preference and perceptions of assessment in the new normal. Okay, I'll be giving the questions and here are the responses. Okay, uh, I'll be presenting to you their initial response because it's, wala pang 24 hours, nakakuha na tayo ng 135 response. Says. So, ang unang tanong, okay? Uh, I hope you, uh, please, uh, let's see, ano ba yung gusto mangyari ng estudyante? Uh, consulting the students, giving them the voice, uh, we knowing their preferences, okay? So, when we ask, what achieve, uh, to what, to what extent would, your, would you want your achievement in the courses deliver online then be assessed? Ano yung gusto mong uh, I'm talking may, maybe here uh, related to summative assessment. Kung paano, ano yung mga output or activity that uh, would be assessed later on. Um, and based on the result, ang pinaka, oh wait, sorry, ang pinaka marami is that student would, would prepare to submit. Mas gusto nila mag-submit ng mga critiques, mga papers, mga reaction papers, on particular issues, commentaries. Uh, whether uh, one page, two page, critique, personal. Wala pang gaanong mentioning of related materials, supporting materials, and so on and so forth. Second, na gusto nilang uh, sa form of assessment that, uh, in the, of the course is the learning lots. Dito pumapasok yung mga data learning experiences, yung insights, I mentioned of the kernel notes, the challenges and issues. What they, what they know, what they learn after doing the, the task. Gusto nila yun. The third is, of course, individual written activity. But when we go to uh, other things that they least prepared, preferred, uh, ano yung pinakaayaw nila? The creation of dimensional models, prototypes, and artifacts. But if there are courses that requires the development, the creation of these artifacts, I think hindi nila maiiwasan dito. Kailangan nilang gawin ito. Siguro dito, combination na siya ng mga, the problem maybe, I can only uh, guess, uh, suspect, is that uh, the resources, especially in doing, given that we are not in, in the normal condition. Other thing that the, the that the dislike is the 
ano pa yung ayaw, ayaw nila dito. Oh, we have uh, research papers. Uh, we have individual oral tests. They, uh, para din sa klase, ayaw nila nung they're standing and answering. But again, they, 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 they're, they will not do away kung ang course ko ay ko. We have to present a video of, the, of them, of him or her presenting something alone, individual. So, mga ayaw nila nung mga ganong tasks. So, uh, less prepared nila yun, including uh, uh, research paper, including non-graded online quiz. Uh, parang gusto nila graded. Uh, and of course, yung mga, this may be, uh, this, uh, I can only make some assumptions about how they are. But at any rate, this initial uh, preference uh, tells us what they prepare to do in the courses that we are asking them to do. Okay? Next. Another question is that, to what extent would you want your online blended courses, learning activities, or outputs be completed? Number one, they want to do it by pair. They, uh, although number two, na gusto rin nilang to do it individually, pero you can, uh, you can, you can see there uh, the, the priority is the, the by pair, meaning two heads are better than one. And of course, what they least like is the large group. Okay, na-understand naman natin yan. When the group becomes uh, larger, management, uh, distribution of tasks becomes a problem. So when we think of an activity, uh, assessment, uh, put some note, do this by pair. Uh, do it in a small group. Okay, connect, make a support group. Don't just, uh, yung assessment natin sa mga modules natin, hindi lang dapat isa, individual lang ang nagpa-process. So get back to your questions, get back to your activity. Uh, the questions, the instructions should encourage collaboration by with pair or in a small group. Next, we also ask the question in time allowances. Basically, uh, pag nagbigay tayo ng task online, ang teacher nagmamadali, okay, I need a response immediately two to three days, tapos may sagot na kayo. What they want, they prepare, is you give us, we give them at least a week, one week time to complete a task, especially if it's just a minor task, depending siguro kung pang summative yan, pag mga partner na siya ng mga formative activities, then a week is enough. And of course, a two to three weeks is uh, also prepared. But do not, let us not uh, make our students do a uh, task less than three days because they least like it, they least prepared it, prepared it. Okay? So that this, this survey gives us an idea that we have to give them time. Dito na lalabas yung flexibility. Okay? We also ask these questions. So to what extent would you want your outputs to be, please pardon with the statement, pang teacher pala ito, pero yung response dito, estudyante pa rin. Uh, how would your, uh, uh, la, the activities or outputs be marked or evaluated? I'm talking about for uh, summative assessment. Or pwede rin naman sa mga, sa mga feedback natin. Uh, what the students prefer to see, like to see, most uh, like to see in your uh, activities is the combination of numerical. You give them Sa Google Classroom, sa mga activities, assignment, pwede tayong maglagay ng 95, 90. But again, more than the number, gusto rin nilang marinig yung feedbacks. What makes you say, what makes you decide to give my work 95% or 1? Where, where, where is this good or this work? Uh, what's, what's best at this work? What's not? What are the shortcomings of this output? Uh, what did I do well? What did I not do well? What did I miss? What are the gaps? Okay, students would like to know that. Okay, as as part of feedback, especially in our module or online activities. Yung mga simple comment natin dun sa comment section, uh, mga informal uh, comments natin na related dun sa con course content that would help a lot more than the number. Now, when we look at the sorry, sorry. Task, yes, yes, sir. Sorry. Um, Ma'am Mabel is uh, raising her hand. Yes, yes, please, please. Uh, Ma'am, Ma do you have a question, please? Sige po. Uh, let, me, let me just... Uh, yes, Ma'am, any question po? Parang nawala na or napindot lang niya. Ah, napindot lang daw. <laughs> Sige, sir, okay lang. Yeah. Napindot lang yeah, yeah. We can get back to this and again, we, we'll give you resolve. Uh, the good thing is that nag-respond kayo as a teacher uh, later on, uh, hopefully we have the time uh, to present also your preference. And later we call relate whether uh, we, 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 whether this is 
there are differences to the preference of teacher, preference ni, ni, ni students. Okay? So, uh, that's good about assessment. Immediate yung mga feedback natin. Alright? So, wait lang. Uh, parang namiss ko yung part na yun. Oops. Okay. So, this is also interesting. In terms of cognitive task, uh, going back to Bloom's taxonomy, assessment tayo. Uh, ano yung gustong, gustong sagutin? Ano, ano yung mga tanong, mga task na gustong makita ng estudyante? They prepared most are questions that require personal explanation or opinion. Very active sila dyan. Okay, when you, are, when you ask questions sa inyong module na uh, the talk about share your personal, personal thoughts. So what you think of this and that? What would you say about this and that? Could you share your personal opinion, uh, your experiences in, on the matter? What made you say so? Or, or, or why not? Etc. Etc. So yung, yun yung number one, most prepared na task or question. The second is questions that require creativity and imagination. So mataas tingnan natin uh, in terms of the higher order thinking skills. Ang prepared pari ng estudyante is more of the higher order thinking questions. Uh, the second is the questions that require creativity and imagination. The third is, of course, the basic recall lang ito. Uh, remembering knowledge questions related to the reading. Bigay ka ng, 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 ng task, uh, ng materials. Now, your question should be about, it should be related to what they have read, what you have adapted, what you have borrowed, what you ask them to view. Not, don't just give the question. So, also important, that when you provide the video, provide the task, the questions should be consistent to the task. Okay? Uh, in terms of what their list like, top three, questions that require scientific investigation. Uh, this is a bit, uh, a, a bit uh, controversial because higher order to, maybe they view scientific processes, scientific methods as a dreaded uh, to be feared activity na parang uh, it will involve uh, deep uh, thinking uh, more of the use of the, the methods or scientific methods parang na silang nag-experiment dito uh, siguro we have to look into a way on how they would enjoy doing scientific investigation, problem solving dapat yan, also questions that evaluates other solution uh, uh, this is higher order thinking uh, higher order then na parang do we have to give them the chance na siguro we have to address uh, what we we have to look at uh, the, the activities whether um, what we what we the asking uh, maybe the problem here is the process they mood may need more guidance they need more uh, supervision uh, teachers will do well uh, it will do big on how how uh, how student process. Kasi ang nangyayari ngayon is split. We provide the, synchron, the asynchronous activity. Ngayon na, bumbahin natin sila ng mga readings. Bumbahin natin sila ng mga videos. Bumbahin natin sila ng mga activities. Now, when you meet in a synchronous session, do na dapat papasok yung feedbacking. What happened? What are your responses? What are your answers? Now, my comment is, uh, do na, uh, you sh the teacher good model, how to evaluate other solution in such a way that students could find that engaging. Also, questions drawing conclusion, ba basic to, and questions that requiring application. So, yung pa lang, yun yung mga, uh, mga least like and most liked by, uh, by our students. Okay? Uh, I know you have uh, other insights, maybe later sa focus group, uh, share nyo yun. And lastly, I also ask them uh, qualitative, uh, other comments and suggestions of students. Uh, these are the themes that was generated. By, by the way, I'd like to thank, thank uh, Hannah Makula, our technical staff, for putting all together the quantitative part and also the qualitative part. Hannah, nandiyan ka ba? Hannah? Yes, pa. Oh, thank Something you so much. Pa. Okay, uh, see. Hannah, we, we worked on this together. And uh, Hannah, thank you for processing it. Okay. Uh, the, the assessment methods. Students, more than the numbers, would like to make sure, would like to see that our assessment methods are fair and appropriate. Uh, we have to lessen the oral assessment, pero depending again the course objective and the course works, may mga course na kailangan yung oral assessment. 
lalo na sa synchronous, kailangan magsalita sa yung presa estudyante. Siguro sa simula, mahirap, nag adjust pa. Pero later on, sa mga synchronous session natin, Zoom meeting, Google meeting, dapat nagpa-participate na. Dapat nag-active na si student later on. And feedback, timely feedback. Okay, and the problem here is the time. Okay, uh, we ask them to do something. Ano mga informal feedback natin? Okay, nakita ka na comment agad sa iyong post. I-heart mo agad. Lagi mo na like. Mag-put mag ka ng questions. Thank you for that uh, part, uh, response. What about this and that? Okay? Wish to see constructive, authentic, encouraging criticism. Nagpa-grade ka. Uh, may output silang ginawa doon sa Google Classroom, 95. Bakit kaya 95? Students will love to know why it's 95. Explain the rubrics. Or you can do the feedbacking a whole class kung hindi mo magawa individually o hindi mo ma-message isa-isa ang estudyante make a uh, doon sa yung synchronization session provide a general full class feedback you don't need to mention the students you could just say uh, I, I, I gave the highest 95 I gave the lowest 85 the highest got this because it displays it promotes the the, uh, the one got this grades uh, i find something's missing they lack this and that they have to do well they have to do this etc etc and of course the t uh, students look forward to teachers appreciation, appreciating their outputs. Kaya nga, doon sa Google Class, Google natin, or doon sa, uh, siguro ang problem is, dapat magkaroon tayo ng public display doon sa ating online platform where best work outputs, or kahit man hindi siya best, students would like, will be seeing how their students are doing. Maybe they can also learn from that. Hindi naman yun plagiarism. Maybe by seeing others' work, the work of their, their, their classmates, there could be an, an idea that could come, oh, I can work on this. My, my classmate work on that. I can work on this. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, when, we, when we share more in knowledge and information, uh, when we discuss more, lalong dumarami yung knowledge, maganda, dumarami yung idea. Okay? Uh, I think, I think my, I, I, we're almost ready for the FGD. Uh, but before we go to the FGD, I think the, I, I give you the big questions. May, may tanong na kanina si, si Dean na tayo po gusto niyang i-discuss sa, sa FGD, sa breakout rooms. Uh, I think we could uh, go on that. Uh, for now, I could entertain or maybe a few or some questions before we move to the break, uh, break how do you, the breakout room session. Uh, group chat. Uh, Ma'am, sino ba din ang kasama ko ngayon na moderator? Or sino yung, nandiyo pa ba si Ma'am Carmela? Yes, sir. I'm still here, sir. Uh, doon kaya sa chat natin, um, other questions we have? Um, there is, sir. Yes. Um, I will just scroll it down. Sige po, sige po. Okay. 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 Sige, sir. I think this is from Dr. Roel V. Avila, sir. Opo. PBL. Is this problem-based learning, sir? Yeah. Okay. Uh, problem-based learning. We, uh, okay. The actually learning becomes more sticky. That's the term, sticky. Uh, it, it's not lost, it's retained, it's even enhanced. When what students learn in the course is applied in real life context, real problem that they're experiencing. If what you're teaching uh, has connection to what they are experiencing at the moment and they can build on what they have, uh, or an output or a task that mm -hmm. you mo, they can apply it in their current situation and they can improve on that, that's a better. If they have the passion, yung simpleng pagluluto ba uh, na in PLE na, pa, na, na paganda natin yung kanina passion sa pangongolekta ng ganito, pagkukolek, this, their, their passion in photography na gamit sa course mo, etc., etc. Yung something that they have and you were able to connect it more than what they have, the problems that they are experiencing, and they they were able to find solution to the problems, maybe in a community or etc. Uh, community or, or or at the small level. Ngayon mahirap yung contact, so basically students can form a support group. Yung group chat nila na wala tayo, wala si teacher. Na pwede nilang sabihin, gusto nilang sabihin, okay na, hindi tayo dapat may partner. They have to have this atmosphere. Uh, Teachers should encourage questions that really would reveal this problem and help them find solution. 
actually the solutions in our problems at our own at our at our own classrooms the solutions are will not be given to us by external people tayo na rin yung makakahanap external people can facilitate can give you the 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 direction the the, the, the pointers but the problem in our that we're experiencing the best way to solve this is to solve it in our own means, in our own ways, not in our own context. Do we have other question? I am pretty sure oh, yeah. you're all excited for the great yes, uh, breakout rooms. Yes, sir. I think we don't have other questions, sir. Uh, please answer my question. That's a good question. Uh, it's looking at the quality of what's created, prepared, lingering on the quantitative side. Yes, sir. I think, but we, we need to go more of, uh, kailangan siguro i-discuss natin to with the students. Bakit ba nahihirapan sila uh, doon sa project-based learning na yun? Yeah, kasi ma, ma, uh, yung, pre, yung ranking natin doon sa preference, malayo siya, sir. Siguro hindi, hindi, nila, hindi natin na-explain na maayos kung ano ba yung project problem-based learning model. Okay? Okay. Uh, Dean Rod, uh, let me give the big questions and you can add later. So the big question for assessment is this. According to Bad Hunt, a teacher, what app should be used in the wrong, is the wrong question. What experiences do we want to create for and with our students is much better. So uh, having said so, adapted, we can start here, start there in assessment. What experiences do we want to create for and with our students? So, ano ba talaga yung gusto natin ipagawa? Ano ba yung gusto na natin experience nila sa mga pinapagawa natin? Now, there's another question. So, uh, what are the challenges and opportunities to provide such experiences in your own context? I think we can discuss this uh, uh, in our Facebook group. So, I will uh, chat. Uh, this, I have a screenshot of, the, of this. Pwede nyo pong screenshot and uh, uh, in your here and uh, later on when you enter the room, balikan nyo itong tanong na ito. Again, what experiences do we want to create for and with our students when we do assessment? Maka-center sa kanila. What are the challenges and opportunities to provide such experiences in your own context? So, share our experiences in assessing our students. Now that we hear what they want, what they prepared to, to, to do, have or submit or perform, I think it's high time that we discuss this in our rooms so we can uh, find uh, solutions or improve our practice in assessing our process.